It's unfortunate and it's sad to say, but some hotels are just going to have to be taken off the market permanently and um, turned into other uses. Sure, for the most part, hotels have reopened with the exception of large scale convention center hotels. I would say that that reopening is shaky, but really as good as could be expected. The issue is, is that this closure wasn't planned. Uh, no one had time to prepare, to make a plan, to figure out what reopening was going to look like. No one even knew how long the reopening was going to be. All you can say is significant. You will never ever know the extent of the hit because you will never understand the permanent impact the travel business has suffered because of this. Predominantly, this impact will be in group travel and business travel, but we have no way of knowing the long-term impacts of this. Certain markets are just never going to come back the way that they were. You're especially going to see this in urban markets and with older hotels. Also, hotels that have are subject to ground leases where the ground lease rent constantly increases and hotels that have very expensive union contracts. These are the types of hotels that are either very expensive or just inefficient to operate at this point with the market. So the hotels have made basically three different types of adaptations. People talk about the physical adaptations and the operational adaptations, but what I think many people forget about are the business and marketing adaptations. Marketing plans are completely different. Hotels are no longer in the United States advertising to an international traveler. They focus, for instance, on a domestic traveler. That's a completely different business plan. As far as physical changes, you see the plexiglass, you see the lobby furniture being changed. Uh, you, you can visually see these things, the social distancing on dining room tables, uh, bars not being used. From an operational standpoint, there's no housekeeping. You have to call if you need new towels. All employees had to be retrained, especially the food and beverage uh, employees about how to handle food and how to interact with the customer. These are wide scale changes. The path to recovery completely depends on where your hotel is located and the type of hotel. For example, drive to resorts during spring break are doing great. Select service hotels because they have a low operating cost are doing much better. Your convention center hotels and your older hotels and urban markets, they are still suffering greatly and it is going to be a long haul before they recover. Again, the answer depends on what type of hotel you have and where you're located. If you look at the hotels in Miami Beach, there's certainly a travel boom. A travel boom so significant that they had to implement curfews and various governmental re regulations to handle the crowds. Remember, these hotels lost a lot of their employees. They don't have the staff that they used to have to handle 100% occupancy. No, no hotel can go from 10% occupancy to 40% occupancy to 100. So there has to be a lot of planning for that. And a lot of the employees in the industry have, have found other jobs. There will always be opportunities in the hotel industry in high barrier to entry markets. Resort hotels, a destination location, a ski resort, a beach resort, those places where it's difficult to build hotels or there's limited land will always be in high demand. Okay. One of the challenges with reopening is that the hotels have sat dormant for several months. Think of a vacation home that hasn't been used in six months. Things are broken. The largest challenge, however, is the employees. Many of the employees can't afford to be laid off for a year. Most people in America couldn't afford to be laid off for an entire year. They have sought jobs in other industries. So the challenge today for hotel owners is not only do they need to find employees, but they have to train them. Remember, we have no foreign employees because no one's allowed to come into the country because of COVID. So there is a shortage of employees in the hotel industry. Also, how do the hotel owners deal with the constantly changing regulations? There's curfews, there's no curfews. It's really hard to plan your business operation when you have a constantly changing environment.